God says, in the precious and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. As you conclude this video, remember the words of encouragement. Your golden days are right before you. With unwavering belief, we scribe in our hearts as a symbol of surrender, releasing fear, anxiety, and stress to embrace perfect peace. The transformation of negatives into positives is guided by a power greater than past pain, fear, scars, or insecurities. Let these affirmations lead you forward. Embrace the unknown, for tomorrow is held by the one who orchestrates all. As we stand on the precipice of the future, let the strength and bravery within you shine, for you are loved beyond measure. Thank you for joining us, and may your journey be filled with the blessings of restoration, healing, and unshakable faith. I invite you to sit down with me for a moment, my friend. Let's share a cup of coffee, or perhaps just a simple meal, and talk about life, as friends do. I don't stand here as a ruler or a boss. I stand before you as a companion on this journey. When you open the pages of the Bible, remember this. It's not just a collection of stories, nor is it a history book. It's a story of God's relationship with humanity and how that connection shapes our lives. Take the first step in understanding it. Acknowledge that it's a book, a unique message from God. The second step is to recognize that it's not beyond reach. God can communicate with us through these words. The third step is to accept that this message is accessible through faith in me, Jesus Christ. Understand that this message isn't just for you alone. It's for all people throughout time. Scripture carries the breath of God, offering teachings, corrections, and training in righteousness. Take this message to heart, not just as a spiritual guide, but as something that should permeate every facet of your existence. Know this, my sacrifice wasn't for my sake, but for yours. It's not about blind belief, it's about understanding and embracing the love that's extended to you. In a world filled with challenges, I am the solution, the savior needed by humanity. Let the message of the Bible seep into your life. I want to talk to you, to share my love and presence, but I'll only do so if you're willing to listen, to open your heart. The world is noisy, full of messages, both obvious and subtle. Listen carefully to them. Remember, I want to speak to you too, deep within your heart. Don't imagine me as an abstract force or an idea. I am Jesus Christ, God's Son, who walked the earth, who took on human form to bridge the gap between God and humanity. I willingly gave my life to save you from your sins. The universe, its wonders, and you are all creations of God. Each one of you is cherished, loved, and significant in God's eyes. Happiness isn't the absence of problems, but the strength to rise above them. Type, yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.